Hey, thanks for watching today's Drawing for Adults class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we're going to be using acrylic paint, so grab your acrylic paints, brushes, and canvas paper, as well as some Q-tips as we're going to add some cool dotted details. So first things first, we're going to map out a fairly simple landscape. So I would not go too detailed here. I would do something with a nice background and foreground and just sketch it out pretty lightly on your paper. Once you are satisfied with your sketch, you can start mixing some acrylic paints and I want you to fill in your space with little stripes basically, um, like little layers of paint. So you're not necessarily going to be filling this in solid, so you're going to look at gradations especially as well as just exaggerate and emphasize the color. So for example, here if I have a kind of a sunset in my landscape photograph, then I'm going to try to create these little um, almost like sediments or striations of color in my sky. And even though we're doing this in kind of a stripey way, that doesn't mean we want to ignore the color and atmospheric perspective and other um, you know, values as in your lightness and darkness of the colors um, when you're doing this. So pay very close attention to the areas that are a little bit lighter compared to the places that are a little bit darker or any shifts in color. And even though we are going to be exaggerating this a little bit as you are filling this in with your paintbrush um, with of course these different little stripes, you still want to um, make sure that you're giving it the, um, you know, get making it look like the image that you're working from. So once you have that mapped out, let that dry. If you're using acrylic paint, of course, you could do this with markers um, as well, potentially, um, especially that first little bit. Um, but after that, you're going to want to let that dry, like I said, and then you can use a Q-tip or the back of your paintbrush, especially if it's kind of, it's a nice rounded um, tip, Use like, flip your paintbrush upside down and use the handle to create little dots. So you can see here, I'm trying to kind of show this one example, this purple section here, how I'm doing light purple dots and then I'm doing white dots on top of that light purple and so I would try to um, you know follow the curvature of the section it's going to be one of these things that takes a while so be patient with yourself come back to it of course take some breaks this is something that I spent several days working on it was not something even though this is only in, you know this video is only in a few minutes this would have taken me several hours to complete so don't feel and that's in part because it's digital and so I have a few little shortcuts I can do um, so take your time with this the thing that I want to point out is with these dots so I'm using a lot of white dots you'll You'll see by the end of this it'll be a lot of light dots but as I was showing and not quite finished there um, just yet in that purple section there are light purple dots within white dots layered on top so I recommend also doing a similar dot color as the backgrounds or the space that you're working on so if you do have a blue section then you can come in with um, a lighter blue or a darker blue and then you can layer on um, a white highlighted dot if you want to do that. So you can see here I picked up my speed just a little bit so that you're not um, having to watch me do each of these individual dots over and over again. I'm also taking a couple um, digital liberties here by expediting the process just a bit as well. But hopefully you are able to create your own dotty dreamy landscape here and that you've enjoyed today's video.